Hello everyone, Yost here back with another video. Today what I want to talk about is how to create a screencast where the uh, windows appear full screen for the applications that you're using, but how to do that without changing your desktop's resolution. And I'm going to be doing this on a Mac using ScreenFlow and another third-party application. Now, if you've ever watched programming tutorials like Railscast here, for example, you'll see how if you fully focus on the editor here or the browser window, that really helps bring the point across to your viewer that you're trying to make and how to teach them the things that you're trying to teach them. Uh, the viewer isn't distracted by the dock or the system tray up top or the desktop background or any of the icons on there. So what I want to show you today is how to set up a couple of few workflow tips on how to arrange your windows and then later on crop the screencast. Now I'm going to be using a window manager called Moom here to help automate some of the resizing and positioning of the windows. There's a couple of other apps that let you do the same thing, um, but Moom works for me and it's not terribly expensive. So the first thing you want to do within Moom is go to the settings here and under the custom actions here, add an action for resize. Now you specify resize here from the menu and then you pick uh, the anchor, leave that one at the default, but then you want to specify 1280 by 720p uh, pixels rather. So that's going to be your recommended YouTube resolution for 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you record your end video at that size, it'll look uh, crystal clear. I've also set up a hotkey here now with a spacebar. Now the hotkeys here are used after you've entered the sort of Moom trigger key, which if you go under the keyboard settings here, defaults to Control Option Command D. And we'll show that off a little bit later. I know there's another default hotkey that's set up uh, for Tab to center your screen as well. Um, that one's already set up. Okay, let's try this out. We're going to hit Control Option Command D, and then hit the spacebar, and you'll see the window resize to uh, 1280 by 720 pixels resolution. And if I do the same thing again, Control Option Command D, and then hit the Tab bar, it will center on the screen. Now we're going to repeat this for all the other windows that we're going to use in our screencast. So I've got my editor here, for example. I'm do the same thing: Control Option Command D, space, and Control Option Command D, tab. Now both of these windows are completely overlapping each other, which is perfect. So if you were to switch between them, you'll see that they uh, just completely overlap each other. Now the nice little bonus here is if you hit Command Tab real quick you actually get um, both windows to switch back and forth without showing off this little application switcher bar here. So if you don't want to display that interactional screencast in the end, um, you don't even have to edit that out. At this point, you would just record your screencast as normal. You can take as many takes as you want, just record them in uh, ScreenFlow, pause, whatever you want to do. And then once you're done, we'll go into ScreenFlow and we'll crop it to just the right size. Okay, now we're in ScreenFlow, and what we want to do is we want to crop the screencast that we've recorded to only use the 1280 by 720 pixel area here in the center of our desktop that we previously recorded under where all of our application windows were layered. Um, that's really easy to do. What you want to do here is first select the clips that you're editing and then hit the crop button down here. Now there's a canvas size indicated here. That's the one you want to set to 1280 by 720p again and tab out of that. And now you'll see this little highlighted window here that you can drag. And because it's a snap to front window, it'll just lock into that area, for example. And that's all there is to it. Just hit apply. And you can see that the rest of the desktop is grayed out. And if you were to export this now and set scale by to 100%, you can see that it will be a 1280 by 720p video. So here we have that end resulting video. And just to confirm, it is 1280 by 720. And if you preview it, it looks beautifully crystal clear. Now, there is one thing I want to point out. If you take a really close look, you'll see a tiny sliver of orange hair where the desktop background actually shimmered through. I presume this has to do with the fact that the shadow counts towards the size of the window when it's resized. What you can do here is you can resize the window to just one or two extra pixels and then just kind of crop that out when you pick your 1280 by 720 pixel uh, mask later on. That'll help get rid of that one little last remaining uh, shadow up top. That's all there is to it. I really hope you learned something today. If you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching.